of the Imjin Wars of 1590 with Admiral Yi Soon Shin. Yi Soon Shin was a great man. Mm. Um, one of his greatest battles was uh, the Battle of the Mian Straits, mm. where he defeated 333 Japanese ships with 13. And this was after the king tried to kill him twice. Tough life for Yi Su Shin, but he, he is a not only a great mm. um, Korean hero, he's a great world hero. And in naval engagements, you know, he, he studied upon with you know great reverence. Yeah, on a 여기 캠핑, <웃음> 캠핑장에서요. 음, 한국말을 할지 않은 미국 분을 만나갖고 어, 인터뷰를 요청했어요. 그래서 어, 지금 이분이 마이클, 예, 마이클, 마이클 예, 마이클이 예, 사는 벤을 이렇게 소개시켜 줄 거예요. 안녕하십니까, 마이클 임네이다. I lived in Korea for. 4 years. Another. <laughs> you say you're going to say in Korean. I'm now trying. I, now I used to I'm say trying in English. I'm camera and I'm thinking, "Ay, go jealous." Okay. Um, I um, I studied the Joseon dynasty. Mhm. Mm um, with the three kingdoms, Koiro, Shiela, mm. and Bakje. I continue through the great history of Korea such as the Imjin Wars mm -hmm. with Admiral Yi Soon Shin, mm -hmm. and uh, and I also study kings like Yun San Gun, mm -hmm. and you know he had problems. I was lucky enough to meet a Korean woman. Mm -hmm. I got married. Uh, I have two daughters. Uh, Duge Dalamin. <laughs> Duge da, 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 Dalamin. Dal. Dal. Yeah. Um, I would try to speak better Hangul, okay. but I've been studying for days. And mm. so you went Korea for the study. Well, I went as a soldier. I flew helicopters out of uh, Anjani, you know, Camp Humphreys, mm. which is now uh, Eighth Army uh, near Piantec, mm -hmm. and uh, I enjoyed. Korea so much I came back you know three times and mm. uh, when was that I start my first trip was in 1990 1990 1990 I have a 23 year old and a 25 year old I go and then they are living in where now New Jersey uh -huh. in uh, America America they're in, still in school um, I hope to visit Korea again Mm. Um, Why? The Korean people's history is so vast. And what makes you want to go back to Korea again? I like Korean people. <laughs> <laughs> just as much as Thank I like. Thank you. It's just as much as I like uh, American people. Yeah. I, I. People uh, and what and the food too. Oh God! You know when I was, uh, you know, Kalbi and. The uh, bulgogi and obi and jinro and like samgyeopsal. Mm -hmm. you, know, you come in and yeah. you're with kunhai nim and you're serving drinks and <laughs> karaoke. Yeah. And so you like Korean people and Korean, Korean food Korean and, food and, and the Korean history. karaoke and Korean history. And you like. You love everything oh, about and, Korea. And Korean women. <laughs> Korean women. Um, Korean agashi, so you, like agashi, mayu adam tapsineta. Mm, because... You want to go back to Korea. The reason is just because you like Korean girl. Oh, no, <laughs> no. I, I, when I was a younger man, a lot of the um, older Korean men kind of taught me some good lessons in life because you know the Korean people are very hard people you know they they've had a lot to go through and 
you, you learn a lot from listening to them because their generations go back hundreds of years, mm -hmm. and you know they had, when they speak, they have pearls of wisdom that I enjoyed very much. The only thing I don't like about Korea is the long flight. You long know, flight? Oh mm -hmm. my God! It's like fourteen, fifteen hours. It's not Kimpo anymore, right? It's another airport. Uh, mm -hmm. Incheon Airport. Incheon. Mm -hmm. In Chan, but you know, I, I, my first time eating Korean seafood, we went down to Asanam Bay. Mm -hmm. That's the story I told where I first learned to eat live squid, mm -hmm. and I watched the people you know, dip the, the live squid. And, mm -hmm, <laughs> I'm like, oh. <laughs> Korea is like a second home for me. Wow, thank you. Oh, yeah. no, thank you for mm. mm. it's uh. It's it's of all the places I've been in the world, they're they're hardworking. Mm. Like I'm, a, I was a young man, mm. and I saw Seoul and Korea grow to where, you know, you go around Itaewa Women's University, mm -hmm. and the mm. buildings will have TVs on them, and mm. everybody's eating very good, mm. gourmet food, and mm. I am. I'm hopeful there'll be peace in Korea and that uh, someday I can visit North Korea. I mean, with government mm. blessing. Mm -hmm. I can see that you like Korea a lot. Okay. All right. Uh, I asked something different okay. questions. So, how long have you been on the road? Oh, I bought this van 2015. Mm -hmm. And I spent two years Duge. Um, uh huh fixing it up you know i ripped that carpet i put a hard floor in um all by yourself solar uh-huh and tv and refrigerator it, it was a lot of work yeah i also took time to get map out plan my trips and decide where i was going to go and what kind of life i was going to live what made you get out of i was uh i was dying inside a house you know, I, I retired from the military, mm -hmm. um, and nothing in life really interested me um, as much as you know traveling and exposing myself to other people and other cultures. And uh, you know, eventually, I'm saving my money because mm -hmm. you know, Korea has become much more expensive now. You're living in a van. Yes, mm -hmm. I still have a home, yeah. but. Uh, but you like it? I love the, this life. The van life. And that's yeah. how I met my friend Do, and <laughs> we, uh, we we started talking, mm. and I, I mm. was able to pick him out right away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I say, oh, and so you like meet people and talk? Yes, yeah. and the one thing about this life, mm -hmm. you know, one day you wake up and you're like, uh, okay, I'm tired of being here. Uh, you know, you just pick up and you go somewhere else, and. Mm maybe someday you see those people again mm -hmm. so it, it's uh so you keep going this life unless i meet another girlfriend and then i probably help her get a van and she could travel a life with me do you mind if i ask then what about you know, your daughters what they are telling you that stop doing the van oh, life yes. or they, they support you half and half uh -huh. they miss me obviously mm -hmm. i think my oldest is uh concerned that i you know i'll fall into the wrong crowd mm -hmm. of course but I'm, I'm 50 years old I, I i you know i'm well enough you know it's 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 an interesting dynamic when as a parent you extend concern for the child and then one day the child starts extending concern for you mm -hmm. and I keep telling them I'm only 50 years old I'm, it's okay I'm, I'm not mm -hmm. like you know the uh, foolish mm -hmm. I, I think right. one problem that I would concern myself not only for Americans you know me gooks, uh, mm -hmm. in Korea it's becoming a thing where we let our possessions control us mm. and I was sitting in a house and I was saving money to buy a nicer mm. car mm. And I woke up one day and I'm like why you know, why am I doing this like why am I consuming and 
why do I have this big home where I would buy things and store them in there and maybe never use them? I uh, have uh, I have pension. Uh huh. I have mel- health. Uh, you know, through mil- because of your because uh, of the army. military. Yes. Yeah, military. And uh, so it's enough. It it's comfortable. Yeah, comfortable. Um, yeah, comfortable is good. I mean, my house in New Jersey is mm-hmm. a three uh, three apartments. Mm-hmm. So my my daughters live in one unit, mm-hmm. and I rent the other two out. So it kind of helps pay the note and oh. keeps the house stable. But mm. I I am alone. I am single. Yeah. And uh, you know I kind of miss having you about ah it uh it watches ship she uh check them. I go. That's terrible. <laughs> Could you tell me a little bit about your I, lifestyle? You know, I wake up. Bit. I make my coffee. You know, so I drink a big thing of coffee. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Um, and then I will go for a walk. Mm-hmm. Some days up to uh, five kilometer. Why it's long way? Yeah, yeah. yeah well, you know, mm. getting fat. <laughs> but uh, and then play. I play video, video games. Game? You know, Xbox for all my uh, high nims who enjoy video games. I haven't given up either on vi- playing video games. Uh-huh. And then at night I. Uh, Make my dinner and mm-hmm. then watch TV. Mm-hmm. Um, if I am lucky, mm-hmm. I get around a big city and they have Korean channel. That <laughs> That's I can watch. Lucky, ah, lucky watching Korean because the Korean TV. dramas mm-hmm. and hearing the Korean news. Yeah. One of the most difficult days mm-hmm. I've had in my life was in Korea, mm-hmm. and that was 1995. I was at uh, K-16 in Sangnam, Mm. and as many of my Korean friends would know, you know, uh, Sampoon department store fell down. We were volunteered to go and help take stone and search for people. Oh, you did? Yes, yes, I remember that. It was very depressing because there was, you know, many families, it was, it was, it was a, a hard day, you know, and... We helped clean a stone, but as many will remember, what was it, like later they found an August, she's still living there. And, uh, you know, she was able to drink the water from the rain that would come down time. And uh, that was a, uh, that was a hard day. I, I don't know if my Korean friends would also remember when the Chinook helicopter mm. crashed when oh. they put the uh, Christmas decoration on the bridge mm-hmm. and the rotors uh, got entangled, fell down, fell into the water. Because that was the type of aircraft I flew. Uh, I was a, a Chinook pilot. And those guys were the unicorns. And they were very proficient and good pilots. You know, I. I, I often look back as you know learning a lot of life lessons early from Korea. It was uh, it was a good time, and I hope to go back.